Check that body. Hi and welcome back to EDSR Pro with me Mike Smith. I've not done a tutorial video in a while so what I thought I would do is just get back into it so please forgive me if I make some mistakes. Um, like I said it's been a long time since I've done a video so what we're going to do this time is just do some basic manipulation of audio and apply some swing. So what I've got here is basically just five different sections, a kick, snare, hat, open hat and some uh, percussion and everything is really really rigid so let's have a listen so as you can hear there everything is really really structured and very very rigid a couple of different ways let's start with a snare what I'm going to do is I've just cut it into a little one bar and obviously there's two snare hits um, what we're going to do is maybe just shift the second one slightly so what we can do is double click and go into the audio editor and what we're going to do is we're going to use audio warp let me just zoom in so you can see what's happening there we're going to use audio warp now the hit points have already been detected so you can see when we're going to audio warp we've got our little hit points here now what we're going to do is move this second one so if we select free warp what we can do I'm actually just going to put a little marker here I'll explain why we do that in a second and what we can do is we can actually just manipulate our second snare so you can see there we're moving it quite a way off off grid so let's just play it back and listen let's just loop that section back around so there's our snares Obviously I'm going to extremes again so you can hear it. So what we're going to do is, I'll just zoom in a little bit, this second hit, just play around, see, see what sounds nice to you, and just zoom in again. I'm just going to leave it there, it just gives that a little bit of rush sort of feel. Then once we've done that I'm going to delete that second section and copy it across. So now each one of these will be the same. I'll just quickly select audio, bounce selection, replace and that, that's just quickly for me instantly created this, this loop now where every second snare is shifted. Um, just makes things a little bit easier. So another way we can do that, or something similar, is let's just have the hi-hat. I'm going to play the kick. Now what we can do in the inspector, we can shift the samples uh, backwards and forwards in milliseconds using the track delay. So we can just type in a figure there. I'm just going to go to extremes again, so let's just go to minus 12. So what that'll do is now shift this open hat forward minus 12 milliseconds. Let's go extreme, let's go 25, let's go extreme again, you can really hear it now, let's go to plus 55, now you can hear the swing there a lot, obviously that's extreme, we're just going to maybe shift it along, let's go 7. Let's hear it with a snare. So there's a little bit of swing starting to come into these now. Let's listen to it in context. We're getting started. Thing, things are moving along nicely. What we're going to do now is I'm going to use a quantize preset on the closed hats. Now. This is a 16th pattern. What you can see there is there is a hit on pretty much every 16th note. And you can see again, hit points have already been detected. Now, what happens is when we use a quantize 
grid or swing setting, those hit points will determine uh, which, which part moves. So obviously, sometimes it's worth just going in and checking and making sure your hit points are all in the right place. Cubase is actually really, really good at detecting the hit points, and you can see there it's pretty much bang on. So we'll leave that as is. If you wanted to adjust them, you can, of course, go in and edit hit points, and then you can just move them backwards and forwards and so on. But again, that's probably another video. So what we'll do, we'll select our audio. We'll then go into our quantize settings. Now, generally, Cubase only comes with the stock settings here, which are a very rigid I've created a bank of MPC settings and other drum machines and also the logic settings so you can buy these from my website which is adsrpro.uk um, I'll put a link in the video below for that and they're very very reasonable considering the amount of work I've gone into making these in this instance let's go extremes I'll select let's go one of these MPC drum machines now nothing happens immediately so what you need to do is then press the apply quantize or Q as your keyboard shortcut and did you see that did you see how the samples all moved across let me just revert back so you can see control and Z and then we'll press quantize again now you can see there all the samples shifted nicely so let's hear that in context and I'm going to revert back while it's playing really rigid loads of swing again I'm going to extremes there so let's find something a little bit subtle that's nice And again, let's do something similar to the percussion loop. So let's apply the same one to start with. And let's apply something very different just to, so you can hear it in context. So that's basically a little insight as to uh, creating swing within your loops within Cubase. So there's a few different ways there. We used audio warp, uh, we've used uh, shifting uh, via multiseconds in the inspector, and we've also used audio quantize presets. So creating quantize presets from previous loops is another video again, which um, I will show you in the future. Okay, so something else we can do is maybe just a little bit of automation on let's say the hats in this case so all I've done is I've put the tremolo on the insert of the audio channel so let me just bring my mixer in for you so you can see so on the closed hats I've put the tremolo as an insert and basically let's listen so that's it bypass so you can't really hear anything there all I've done in this case, I've used a preset come and gone, which is in the, the standard presets. I've adjusted the ratio to a half and I've reduced the depth to about 68. So that's it dry. And that's it with it applied. So you can hear there, there's a bit of a volume change. So let's hear it in context. Bypass. So you can hear there, it's just subtle little differences that, that make the loop sort of come alive. Now everything is pretty much in the center of the mix as well. We could start applying uh, a bit of spatial, we could push things out, maybe using auto panner, we could maybe shuffle the hats. So again, let's do it on the perk loop let's put a, an auto pan so modulation auto pan and let's solo so you can hear it there we'll click sync go to extreme so you can hear it And 
it's just those little rises and falls in volume that make things sort of cut through the mix when maybe the perk loop is dropped the hats are cutting through or the snares so it's just again experiment that's what it's all about really is just experimentation find what works for you find what sounds nice to you you can see there we can manipulate audio very easily within Cubase in numerous different ways and to be honest the ones that I've touched upon are very basic but you can hear from the original from where we started let's just play it in context and then I'll revert back so that's the loop I'm going to start going back now. So we've come a long way from our original starting point and you can hear there that we created loads of different swing using many different methods. Again, you know, I've only just touched upon it to give you the ideas to go forward with your productions. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, then please do subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye. Check that body. Get, get, get down.